some actions from Princess and have ignited speculation of a growing rift between the Princess and Queen Camilla. While outwardly calm, these moves hint at a deeper tension that may be reshaping the dynamics within the royal household. It all began with Queen Camilla's 77th birthday celebration, which was supposed to be a joyous occasion. Buckingham Palace and Kensington Palace both issued birthday greetings, but there was a noticeable difference in tone. Kensington Palace, led by Prince William, delivered a simple, almost cold, happy birthday, Your Majesty. The absence of any warm words or direct reference to Camilla herself sparked quiet whispers among royal watchers. Was this just a formality, or was there something more beneath the surface? The most telling signal, however, came from Princess Anne. Her absence from Camilla's birthday dinner was no small matter. There was no message of congratulations, no public appearance, no gesture of goodwill. It was as if Anne, typically seen as one of the hardest-working members of the royal family, chose this moment to remain silent. For many, this silence spoke volumes. Could this be a calculated step in Anne's quiet campaign against Camilla's rising prominence within the royal fold? As Queen Camilla's birthday passed, the tension continued to simmer. Reports emerged that Camilla, once known for her charitable involvement, had begun to step back from many of her public duties. For someone in her position, cutting back on charity work could be seen as a natural decision, a way to manage the demands of royal life. But for Princess Anne, a woman who has dedicated her life to service, this retreat was unacceptable. Anne's discontent was palpable. In a move that surprised many, Princess Anne began to systematically cancel several of Camilla's official engagements. These cancellations weren't loud or dramatic but they were effective. They sent a clear message, and was not content to sit idly by as Camilla retreated from her responsibilities. It became evident that this was not merely a clash of personalities, but a quiet power struggle playing out within the confines of royal protocol. The tension reached its peak during Queen Camilla's coronation ceremony. The event was meant to be a celebration of Camilla's new role as queen, a symbol of her growing importance. But once again, Princess and seized the moment. Dressed in full military attire, she made a grand entrance on horseback, creating a striking contrast with Camilla's more traditional coronation outfit. It was a moment that caught the public's eye, not for what was said, but for what was left unsaid. The juxtaposition of the two women, and strong and resolute, and Camilla, regal yet reserved, was impossible to ignore. Even more telling was the atmosphere at the coronation dinner. Prince William, alongside his wife Kate, and their daughter Princess Charlotte, added fuel to the fire when they refused to kneel before Queen Camilla. This breach of royal etiquette was not done in haste. It was a decision that had likely been deliberated, a calculated statement of where their loyalties lay. The refusal to kneel was not just a personal snub but a public one. It sent ripples through the royal family, signaling a potential divide that could have long-lasting implications. Despite the growing tensions, there remains an underlying current of optimism. Princess and is not acting out of malice but from a place of deep commitment to the monarchy. Her actions may be perceived as vengeful, but they are also a reflection of her unwavering dedication to the crown. Similarly, Queen Camilla, while facing challenges, has weathered far more significant storms in the past. Her resilience is well known, and there is no doubt that she will navigate this latest chapter with grace. As the royal family continues to navigate these quiet undercurrents of discord, there is hope that balance will be restored. Princess Anne and Queen Camilla represent two sides of the same coin, both dedicated to the monarchy, but with different visions of how that dedication should manifest. Their actions may seem at odds but in the grand scheme of things, they are working towards the same goal, the preservation of the British monarchy. In the end, the tension that has built between these two strong women may lead to a stronger, more resilient royal family. The public may never know the full extent of what transpires behind the palace walls, but one thing is certain, Princess Anne and Queen Camilla are shaping the future of the monarchy, one subtle move at a time. 
As this narrative unfolds, it is essential to consider the historical context that surrounds the British monarchy. For centuries, royal families have had to navigate intricate webs of relationships and rivalries. The current dynamic between Anne and Camilla may be reminiscent of past royal feuds, but it also showcases how the monarchy is evolving. In an age of transparency and accountability, the royal family is adapting to the expectations of a modern audience, where public opinion can sway significantly. The roles of women in the royal family have also undergone considerable transformation. Princess Anne, known for her no-nonsense approach and tireless work ethic, has long been viewed as the family's workhorse. Her contributions, though often overshadowed by the more glamorous public personas of other royals, are vital. She embodies the spirit of service that many in the monarchy aspire to uphold. In contrast, Queen Camilla has carved out her niche, focusing on issues close to her heart, such as literacy and domestic violence. Yet, as her role expands, the scrutiny on her decisions becomes magnified. In this delicate balancing act, the stakes are high. The British monarchy is not just a symbol of tradition, it is also a living institution that must adapt to survive. The power struggle between and and Camilla may reflect a broader concern about the monarchy's future. Will it remain relevant, or will internal conflicts undermine its standing in the public eye? As public interest in the royals fluctuates, these conflicts can either enhance their appeal or lead to irreparable damage. Looking ahead, the key will be whether and and Camilla can find common ground. Both women are passionate about their roles, and their shared dedication to the monarchy could pave the way for collaboration rather than competition. The potential for a powerful partnership exists if they can navigate their differences and recognize the strength that comes from unity. In times of crisis, the royal family has often rallied together, showcasing their resilience. The conversations that take place behind closed doors, far from the prying eyes of the public, will be crucial in determining the future of this relationship. Will Anne and Camilla come together in the spirit of collaboration, or will the growing divide continue to fester? Each decision made in the coming months will carry weight, with the potential to either heal wounds or deepen divides. As the royal family moves forward, the significance of public perception cannot be overstated. The monarchy thrives on public support, and how Anne and Camilla are viewed by the public will impact their ability to serve. The British public has always had a fascination with royal drama, but this time, the stakes are particularly high. The relationship between these two women will not just affect their personal lives but will resonate throughout the monarchy, influencing its future trajectory. In navigating this complex landscape, both Anne and Camilla have an opportunity to redefine what it means to be a member of the royal family. They can choose to model resilience, grace, and collaboration, sending a powerful message to the public about the importance of unity in the face of challenges. Their actions will speak louder than words, shaping the narrative of the monarchy for years to come. As the world watches, there is a sense of anticipation about how this saga will unfold. Will the tension transform into a remarkable partnership, showcasing the strength of the royal family, or will it highlight the fragility of relationships within the monarchy? The answers remain to be seen, but one thing is clear, the dynamics between Princess and in Queen Camilla are capturing the public's imagination, and their journey will undoubtedly leave a lasting impact on the British monarchy. The story of Princess and in Queen Camilla is not merely a tale of rivalry, but a testament to the evolving nature of royal duties and responsibilities. As both women navigate their paths, they must also contend with the legacy they wish to leave behind. For Princess and it may be about upholding the tradition of hard work and dedication, while for Queen Camilla, it could involve redefining her role as a modern queen. Together, they have the potential to forge a new chapter in royal history, one that honors the past while embracing the future. As we observe the intricate dance between these two powerful women, we can only hope for a resolution that honors their shared commitment to the monarchy. The British royal family stands at a crossroads, and the choices made today will shape its future for generations to come. The unfolding drama between Princess and Queen Camilla may yet provide the opportunity for growth, unity, 
and a renewed sense of purpose within the royal family. In conclusion, while the tension between Princess and and Queen Camilla may cast a shadow over the royal family, it also presents an opportunity for transformation. The actions and decisions of these two women hold the key to a resilient monarchy. Whether they choose to collaborate or continue their silent struggle will determine not just their legacies, but the future of the British royal family itself. As the world watches, the hope is for a positive resolution that reinforces the strength and unity of the monarchy, paving the way for a brighter, more harmonious future. As the events surrounding Princess and and Queen Camilla continue to unfold, the British public remains deeply engaged, with every nuance scrutinized and analyzed. The dynamics of their relationship serve as a microcosm of the broader shifts occurring within the monarchy. Each woman represents different eras and approaches to royal duty, and the interplay between them could either reinforce the monarchy's foundations or expose its vulnerabilities. With the ever-increasing media spotlight on royal affairs, the roles of Princess and in Queen Camilla are more critical than ever. The public sentiment toward them is shifting, with many expressing admiration for and steadfast commitment to her duties. Her absence at Camilla's birthday celebration has been interpreted not just as a personal slight, but as a larger statement about the importance of active participation in royal engagements. Many see her as a figure of integrity, a champion for the values the monarchy represents. On the other hand, Queen Camilla has worked diligently to carve out her niche within the royal family. She has become a pivotal figure in the promotion of several charitable causes, particularly in literacy and health. However, the public perception of her is often overshadowed by her association with past controversies and her role in the tumultuous narrative of Charles and Diana. The path she walks is fraught with challenges, as she must continuously prove herself deserving of her position. With both women facing their unique challenges, it is essential to recognize the potential for growth that exists within their rivalry. The royal family has often risen above personal disputes to present a united front in the face of public scrutiny. History is littered with examples of royal feuds that have ultimately led to strengthened bonds and renewed commitments to their shared values. The hope is that the tension between and and Camilla will serve as a catalyst for reflection and collaboration rather than division. As both women navigate their public personas, they also have the opportunity to influence the younger generation of royals. The way they interact, handle conflicts, and address public concerns will set a precedent for how future members of the royal family engage with each other and the public. Princess Charlotte and Prince George, as well as other young royals, are observing these dynamics closely and the lessons learned now will shape their understanding of duty, loyalty, and the complexities of royal life. While the media continues to amplify the tension, there is a palpable desire among royal supporters for a resolution. The public sentiment leans towards the idea that both women can coexist and thrive within the royal framework. Many believe that a united front will not only benefit their relationship but also restore faith in the monarchy itself. The British royal family has always been seen as a symbol of continuity and stability, and any signs of discord can shake the foundation of that perception. In recent months, social media platforms have become battlegrounds for public opinion, with royal fans passionately defending their favorites. Supporters of Princess and laud her as a dedicated servant to the crown, while others champion Queen Camilla for her ability to modernize the monarchy. This division highlights the need for a reconciliation that acknowledges both women's contributions and allows them to work collaboratively. The monarchy thrives on public support, and finding a way to unify their efforts could reinvigorate the public's affection for the royal family. As the narrative progresses, the key question remains, can Princess and and Queen Camilla set aside their differences and work together for the greater good? Both women are well-respected and influential figures in their own right, and the power they hold could be wielded to promote charitable initiatives and engage the public in meaningful ways. Joint appearances at events, collaborative projects, and public acknowledgments of each other's work could signal a positive shift in their relationship, promoting a narrative of unity rather than division. Looking to the future, it is evident that the monarchy is at a pivotal moment in its evolution. 
The decisions made by Princess and then Queen Camilla will echo through time, shaping the legacy of the royal family for generations. The world is watching, and the hopes of royal supporters rest on their shoulders. If they can embrace their roles as allies rather than adversaries, they may very well redefine what it means to be a member of the royal family in the modern era. Moreover, the growing dialogue around mental health and well-being within the royal family cannot be ignored. Both Anne and Camilla have the potential to become advocates for mental health awareness, drawing from their experiences and the pressures they face. By sharing their stories and promoting a culture of openness, they could help destigmatize mental health discussions within the monarchy, showing that even royals are not immune to personal struggles. This approach could resonate with the public, especially as society increasingly values authenticity and vulnerability. The ability to connect with the younger generation, who often champion mental health initiatives, could rejuvenate the royal family's image. It may also serve as a pathway for both women to bond over shared experiences and challenges, laying the groundwork for a collaborative relationship. As this saga continues, the potential for resolution remains. The royal family has always been resilient, and the ability of Princess and in Queen Camilla to navigate their differences could herald a new era of cooperation. By fostering an environment where dialogue is prioritized and mutual respect is cultivated, they can create a powerful narrative of unity, one that would inspire not only the monarchy but the entire nation. In the end, the saga of Princess and in Queen Camilla is a reminder of the complexities of human relationships, even within the hallowed halls of royalty. It is a story of personal pride, duty, and the struggle for recognition in an ever-evolving institution. As the world watches this royal drama unfold, there lies hope for a positive resolution that reinforces the enduring spirit of the British monarchy, allowing it to thrive in the modern age. As we look forward to the future of the British royal family, it is crucial to embrace the idea that challenges can lead to growth. The relationship between Princess and then Queen Camilla will undoubtedly continue to evolve, and with each passing day, the opportunity for reconciliation and collaboration becomes increasingly plausible. The strength of the monarchy lies in its ability to adapt, to learn, and to unite in the face of adversity. The hopes of a nation rest on the shoulders of these two remarkable women as they navigate the intricate dance of royal duty and personal ambition forging a path that honors the past while looking confidently towards the future. In the ever-changing landscape of modern royalty, the narrative of Princess and in Queen Camilla serves as a testament to the resilience of the human spirit. Their journey may be fraught with challenges, but it is also filled with the promise of renewal, collaboration, and a shared commitment to the monarchy that binds them together. As they move forward, the eyes of the world will remain on them, eager to witness the next chapter in this compelling royal saga. As the public eagerly anticipates the next developments in the relationship between Princess and in Queen Camilla, there remains a sense of cautious optimism that this tumultuous chapter could transform into a narrative of unity and strength. Each royal engagement, public appearance, and charitable initiative taken by either woman could become an opportunity to rebuild their connection and demonstrate their commitment to the monarchy. Both women possess the charisma and dedication needed to captivate audiences and champion causes that resonate with the public. Princess and has long been recognized for her hands-on approach to charity, often seen actively participating in events rather than merely lending her name to causes. Her enthusiasm and tireless work ethic inspire many, making her a beloved figure in the eyes of the British public. Anne's legacy as a royal family member is not solely defined by her lineage, but also by her genuine desire to make a difference. Conversely, Queen Camilla has made significant strides in her role as queen, steadily building relationships with various charitable organizations. She has brought a modern touch to the monarchy, focusing on pressing issues such as domestic violence, literacy, and health awareness. Camilla's compassionate approach and willingness to engage with the public have begun to reshape her image, showing that she is more than just a figurehead. Her determination to address societal challenges speaks to her commitment to the role, making her an essential asset to the royal family. The potential for collaboration between Anne and Camilla is ripe with possibilities. 
By joining forces, they could amplify their impact on charitable causes, potentially launching joint initiatives that highlight their shared dedication to service. Such efforts could serve to mend their relationship, showcasing their ability to work together for the common good. Public appearances together at charity events would not only strengthen their bond, but also present a unified front to the public, signaling that any rift has been healed. There is also the opportunity for both women to engage in intergenerational dialogues with the younger royals. The presence of younger family members like Princess Char, 